Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. Uh, today, working on a couple campers. Sitting here side by side. Uh, I'm actually a, a sawmill here in West Virginia. And this is probably one of the nicest setups that I've ever seen for a company to do for employee housing. Uh, big cement pad. Big enough to park cars, side the campers. The campers are all underpinned, really nice. They went so far as to think about putting, putting a little area out here for like doing stuff on a patio. It's really nice. Uh, this one here, we are gonna be working on the toilet. This is probably gonna be one of the easiest toilets that I've ever worked on uh, let me show you it's right inside that door I just folded the steps up I can stand I can stand right here and work on this thing it's like just above waist high <laughs> this is awesome the bad thing about these 300 this is a 310 domatic so so the worst thing about the 300 series toilets is this bow um, for the last year or so um, I buy new valves straight from Domatic and the valves want to leak water into the bowl. Um, so I, you know, I've got, like I said, I've got two campers to work on, but I'm going to work on this toilet first um, just so I can watch this toilet for a little while and make sure it's not going to want to leak water into the bowl. Uh, I don't know what is up with Domatic's valves, but they're having a real issue with them for a, a, quite a while. They should have got this straightened out by now. And hopefully I got I got two valves on the truck. Hopefully one of them will be a good one. Let's take a few minutes off here. I want to show you something that a company sent me. Uh, they're not paying me for this, but they did send it to me for free. I told them I'd do a little, uh, little product review on it. So uh, y'all check that out. If you don't want to check that out, just skip forward and uh, move on. You know, for the last couple decades, I've had a lot of customers say, well, what kind of RV do you own, Hillbilly? I go, well, <laughs> I don't own one. I do own a backpacking tent. You may not know this about me, but I have done a fair amount of backpacking. I've hiked about half of the Appalachian Trail, section hikes, and I have through hiked the Penhody Trail in Al Georgia and Alabama. So, uh, one of the things that I really <laughs> don't look forward to at night when I get to camp is blowing up my air mattress, my, my pad, my sleeping pad. Like I say, the, the nice people at Flextail, there you go, they gave me this pump. Uh, comes in a stuff sack. There's the pump. Comes with several adapters for different, uh, for different mattresses and different things you want to blow up comes with uh, of course with a USB cable and all this stuff fits real nice in this stuff sack you just pick the appropriate adapter they don't really have one that fits my air mattress very well but it does work uh, here's what the pump sounds like yes it's a little bit loud but I've heard a lot louder because <laughs> I've I've seen been around people when I was backpacking that had pumped some of this and they were much louder than this. So let me show you how it works. My watch says a minute and 20 seconds, but it's probably closer to a minute and 10 seconds. Time I got the pump off, put the put the cap on, shut the pump off, and then turn my watch off. You know, just, just a little over a minute. You pull the adapter off. It comes with this silicone bulb. This is also a light. Light comes on, it's got three different brightnesses. As you can tell, it's pretty bright. The little globe clips on the end of the light. 
Got a ring on the end. You can hang it from your tent. This make an awesome tent light. There will be a discount code in the link below uh, where you can buy this and get a discount. Now you might be saying to yourself, well, I'm not a backpacker like you are. Well, that's fine. Uh, do you have a pool? Do you blow up pool stuff? Uh, if, you, if you don't want to drag a big old tool out to blow up stuff around the pool or, or whatever you blow up, I don't know, air mattresses in your house when visitors come, just pull out this little bad boy. Blow right up. You can also put the adapters on the end and suck the air out of stuff too. So let's just get back to our regularly scheduled programming, which is working on RVs. Quit fooling around this backpack and stuff. I hope to take a trip soon, but not right now. So let's get to work. Try and get y'all set up here so you can see and I can work and we can just all get along. All right. If I got my towel, I'll put it down here. You almost always get some water. Water's cut off, been cut off for quite a while. Get the water line off. Sometimes there will be a screw here holding that valve in. But there, on this one, there is no screw. See this little tab? The, the valves actually snap in. There's one of these on the top, one on the bottom. So I can get the bottom one to release. Just use a screwdriver to push that tab with blindly. See what? I'm gonna have to go ahead and get that clamp off there. Uh, I just use a pair of side cutters. Go in here like this, and just twist these things off. Squeeze it pretty good, and give it a couple wiggles, and they break right off. Doesn't damage the the little hose. Doesn't doesn't damage anything. Other fingers when you try and spread them. That's the easiest way I found to get those get those uh, clamps off. Get that hose off there. Give us a little more room to work here. Alright, well I got the top loose. Let's see if we can get that. Let's see if we can get the bottom loose now. I think I got the bottom one. Yeah, I did. So these valves are super simple. Now I should be able to twist this off. Ah, there we go. There's some water. That's why I put the towel down. This one is froze and cracked. You see the discoloration? It's cracked right there. So here's a brand new one. I hope that they fixed your issues with these things. I hope. <laughs> the new one comes with a hose clamp to go back on this hose and a screw that helps hold the uh, valve in. It goes in this way. Um, it has a place for two screws. I thought there was two screws in the package, but uh, I only see one. <laughs> Just go ahead and 
I'm gonna tell you what. No, we're gonna we're gonna pop this thing in there first and get our. So it just snaps in, but then we will put this screw in there also. And I have to do it with a mirror, even even uh, even as good an area as this is to work in. Still can't see behind that toilet, so I use a mirror. And then I still can't find the hole. Lunch time's over. I don't know how noisy it's going to get here. Like I say, I'm at a I'm at a sawmill here in southern West Virginia. I'm gonna have to go get a ratchet, that's too long. People always love it when I pull these things out and use them. Uh, I think it's called a palm, palm ratchet, a palm wrench. Pretty handy in spaces like this. You might ask yourself, you know, why the new valve comes with a screw. The, this must be an earlier version of this toilet because the later versions actually have have these screws installed when they build the toilet. Okay, just snug that up a little bit. Now, be sure and put your hose clamp on here. And then you can slide this hose on. And snug that clamp up now. Put my socket on here. Make life a little bit easier. That's all there is to that. Put our supply line back on. Get it started straight. It should go should go by hand for a long way. Oh. <laughs> I found the other screw. I usually just put one in. Because they did have they did have trouble for a while with these valves popping out. It would just pop out of the pop out of the toilet. So that's why I guess they added the screws. Alright, we just barely snug that up because that's one of them fragile ones okay i'm gonna go cut the water on y'all watch this holler if it's leaking man i'll tell you what i just went up inside this one for the first time um to make sure there wasn't any water uh on anywhere else in the camper and man these are super nice units I've seen the, I've seen employers, and yes, I see that moving. Uh, I think that's actually probably good. Uh, I've seen a lot of employers set up campers for employ, you know, used for employee housing. I don't think I ever seen any as nice as these set up as nice as these too. This is nice. So you saw me flush it. Can you see that water just dribbling in? It's like pulsing. That needs to stop. All right. That's the problem with these new valves is they want to do that. They want to just leak just a little bit of water. And what it does, it fills the bowl up and floods the camper, which ain't good. These are super nice units, so we don't want to flood it. Yeah, I just don't know what the deal is with these valves. Uh, this is really annoying. Uh, I had a commode last year, put three three valves on it before we got one that didn't do this. So uh, I'm going to uh, watch this for a while, and if if I end up doing something, I'll let you know. But uh, but for right now, I'm just going to just go ahead and sign out. And uh, if there's more to come, there will be some overtime footage. 
as always thanks for watching um hopefully this thing will quit here in a minute yeah it is slowing down but it ain't quit one thing i'm gonna look too is i'm gonna make sure they have i'm gonna make sure they have water uh pressure regulators uh in line on these things um because that, that could be an issue also yeah but it just still continues to dribble 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 um so yeah well hopefully this thing will quit dribbling don't y'all dribble get down there in that comment section leave me a comment a criticism a concern i'm gonna go right over here and hopefully fix another one and uh, y'all have a fantastic day all right i did put the pressure regulator in line and it finally quit quit dribbling uh see it's dry around there i took a wag a rag and actually wiped it and it's good to go so maybe they finally did get those valves the valve problem figured out i hope so because it was ridiculous um you know one one time i ended up just having to replace the commode because i i put like three valves in it and and they all wanted to dribble and fill the bowl up and i ended up just replacing the toilet and it's good to go with ironically enough the same model toilet so yeah go figure all right i gotta work on the furnace on this one it's a really bad place to get to um once I get it out here on the back of the truck, I may fire the camera back up, but I'm not even going to take you back in that hole. Nobody, nobody deserves to be back in that hole. <laughs> More overtime footage. Uh, I got that furnace out there, put it on the back of the truck, fire right up. Lit three times. I let it burn several minutes each time, lit right up. Start checking the camper, check gas pressure. Good. Check voltage at the furnace, good. Check the thermostat. We know the thermostat was working because it was turning the fan on. Uh, it's all good, put the furnace back in there, fired right up. Go figure, right? Anywho, uh, we're moving on to the next one. Gotta work on the furnace on that one next, as soon as I get this one buttoned up. Uh, so yeah, if anything exciting happens, we'll make a whole new video. Let's take a few minutes off here. I wanna show you something that a company sent me uh, they're not paying me for this, but they did send it to me for free. I told them I'd do a little uh, little product review on it, so uh, y'all check that out. If you don't want to check that out, just skip forward and uh, move on.